Please forgive the amateurness of this. I am not a YouTuber by any stretch of the imagination. So here's the overview of the concrete forms. I've got uh, three quarter inch bolts. Need four of those. Uh, some uh, one and a quarter inch bolts. Six of those. These threaded inserts are nine sixteenths and have quarter inch oops, quarter inch threads inside. Uh, we need ten of those. And then uh, drywall screws for the base here. Uh, we need uh, 16 inch and a quarter uh, drywall screws. Um, and then uh, need some inch and five eighths drywall screws for the other parts. Uh, so that's the parts that you'll need. Here's the base. These wedge blocks are uh, or are uh, glued with CA glue and then screwed down. Same with this end and this side uh, are, are fixed. Underneath, you can see, they're just uh, screwed in. Each, each wedge is screwed in and then here's the end. I uh, got one, two, three, four, five, six screws glued and screwed down. All of the uh, insets are countersunk in, so this lays flat. That is the plywood base. Uh, then uh, we have the uh, other half of the wedge right there. These are the wedge locks, which go here, and we'll lock this in place. Uh, here are the two ends. And the bolts that go hold those down. Uh, here is the concrete base. And in here are countersunk holes to hold the uh, inset on. And the inset is here. I've epoxied it. I'll do a better job next time. I'm new to epoxying. It has threaded inserts as well. And then the two ends are just long pieces of melamine that has been edge banded with two hold down blocks glued and screwed on. And those are held down with yet more bolts. That is an overview of the parts and now we'll go ahead and assemble it in part two.